Hello everyone, I'm Eric Montiel from the Cisco Tech VPN team. Welcome back to the final part on implementing remote access VPN hardening measures in your secure firewall. Here, we'll continue to focus on how to mitigate the vulnerability and the spree attacks in your firewall. Let's continue. Certificate mapping. Use certificate mapping for connection profiles to map incoming connections based on client certificate attributes. Users with correct certificates are correctly assigned while attackers who don't meet the criteria are directed to the default WebVPN connection profile. Before starting, identify the certificate for this authentication method. On the left is the FTD certificate and on the right is the test machines. Both must match for correct authentication. Now, let's see how this works with the certificate mapping measure. Navigate to the advanced tab within the remote access VPN policy. Select the certificate maps in the left-hand menu. Choose a general setting option based on your preference. Once selected, select add mapping. Create the certificate map object and select add rule. In this rule, define the properties of the certificate you would like to identify to map the user to certain connection profile. In this case, we're going to use the name of the issuer that appears on the screen, the same attributes as the certificate that we have seen previously. Once finished, select OK, then select Save. Select the certificate map object and its associated connection profile from the drop down. Set the default connection profile to default WebVPN group for failed mappings, then save and deploy the changes. Validating the setup. Remember that the user machine has a certificate installed. This certificate shares the same issuer as the FTD, meeting the certificate mapping criteria. As a result, when a connection attempt is made, the user connects directly to the assigned connection profile. However, if the certificate is not installed, the connection will follow the default action based on the certificate mapping criteria. This action sends the user to the default WebVPN connection profile, which we configured as a sinkhole. Consequently, the user will encounter an error message. IPsec IV2. Using IPsec IV2 instead of SSL requires a specific user group mapping in the XML profile. Without this XML, users go to the default tuner group. Now, let's change the connection protocol. In your remote access VPN policy, go to the access interfaces tab, select the assigned interface, and edit it to allow IPsec IV2. Also, make sure to assign the IPsec IV2 certificate, similar to the SSL certificate. As you can see, we have cert one on both sides. Then save the changes. Now let's go back to the connection profiles tab. Select the desired IPsec IV2 connection profile, in our case, AAA local, and navigate to the edit group policy. In the general tab, check the IPsec IV2 box under VPN protocols. Add the VPN profile with IPsec IV2 in the AnyConnect tab under profile. Then save and deploy the changes. For the XML profile configuration, go to the VPN profile editor and then to the server list tab. The name of the user group must exactly match the name of the connection profile in the firewall, such as AAA local in our case. The primary protocol is set to IPsec and the display name appears in the secure client user interface when users connect to this profile. In IPsec IV2, it's necessary to push the distribution of XML profiles out of band. In this example, we have already sent the XML file through a TFTP connection. We need to paste the file in the path shown on the screen. When we open this file, you will see the configuration we have applied earlier in the profile editor software. This is what it looks like in XML format. Once the XML profile is pushed to the client, Secure Client uses the user group from the XML profile to connect to the v 2 IPsec connection profile. As you can see now, we are using IV2 IPsec as the main protocol and choosing the correct XML that we use in the FTD and in the machine. Visible HostScan can reduce the impact of the vulnerability in your firewall. This if you use HostScan or Secure Firewall Posture. This prevents attackers from exploiting resource usage via endpoint scanning. Let's see how to configure this in the FMC. Navigate to Objects, Object Management, FlexConfig object and add FlexConfig object. Name the FlexConfig object. Here we put without CSD. Enter the syntax exactly as shown and set the deployment to every time with the type append. Then save the object. To push this, navigate to devices, FlexConfig, then click the pencil to do the FlexConfig policy. Locate the object you created from the user defined section. Then select the arrow to add it to the selected append flex configs. Lastly, select save to save the flex config policy. 
to validate this, enter the Active CLI and issue the command show run to a group for the default WebVPN group connection profile. Verify that without CSD is now present in the configuration. Modify the port to a custom one to temporarily reduce the impact of the vulnerability and avoid password spray attacks. You can change the port of the VPN connection to have the traffic flowing in another custom port. This measure will be further discussed once configured. To do this, navigate to the Access Interfaces tab within the Remote Access VPN policy. In the Web Access port number and in the DTLS port number, if you have it enabled like in this scenario, select a random one that you can use. In this case, we're going to use the 5443 port. Then save and deploy. After deployment, users now point to the VPN by specifying the port number on all connections. In this attempt, we didn't specify the port, so we get a timeout error message. Once this port is specified, the connection works as expected. Traffic now flows on the custom port. This measure is temporary and optional to prevent attackers from scanning your device and discovering the new custom port used for the SSL connection. Conclusion in summary, the goal of the hardening measures in this video is to assign legitimate users custom connection profiles while attackers are sent to the sinkhole. So by applying all the measures, you will be able to have a safe and adaptable environment according to your needs. For more information, consult the official guide. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.